Okay guys, we're on our way to McDonald's right now for a $7 even order. It's going just one mile, so yeah, it's gonna be easy breezy, guys. You guys are coming along, so let's rock this out. We have arrived. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Nice to see you. Is that 185? Yeah. Okay, great. Perfect. Thank you. You have a beautiful day. See you later. Okay, guys. Well, that was quick and easy. Just a tiny little. I can hold this with my pinky. That's how tiny it is. <laughs> Let's go rock this out, guys. Okay, guys. Well, we're in this little mini mall place here. So it looks like it's going to a business. The customer didn't put the name of the business, they just put the suite number. Would have been a little easier if they put the name of the business because the, you know, the sign is real big. The numbers for the units are real small. Okay, let's see if we got the right place. I think it's gonna be this restaurant here. I think we're going to be delivering McDonald's to another restaurant, guys. Let's go in and see if this is the right place. Now it says leave it at the door, but I don't know if that's going to work. So we might have to just go inside this joint. Hi there. Is this? Oh, is, yes, it is. Thank you. you have a beautiful rest of the day. Okay, I guess I. Um, it says leave at door, so they kind of make me take a picture of it. Okay, guys, we accepted an $8.33 offer going to Hong Kong Garden Dim Sum Cafe, something like that. And it's going just 2.7 miles. That's it, guys. Hong Kong Garden Seafood Dim Sum Cafe Restaurant. That's it. And there's some writing I can't read for obvious reasons. Pretty. Hi. How's it going? Yeah. What's your name? It's Tim. I hope that's, that's probably it over there. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. See you later. It to be confirmed. We shall confirm it, but I do that when I get in the vehicle. It's a lot easier to do that. Okay, guys, let's go. Okay, guys, well, it looks like this drop off is out of business, and I think we've delivered to this customer before because this looks familiar to me. But you know, we do hundreds of these, so you never know for sure. But I'm pretty sure Garden Realty, yep, this is our customer, Tim. We're going in to drop this off, guys. Come on. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Perfect. This is for Tim, yeah. Thank you. Alright, you guys have a wonderful day, okay? Yeah, Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, yeah, that's Tim. That's our repeat customer. Another offer going to Faux Fan. However, this time it's called Vegan Chicken. This restaurant, guys, I told you a million times, has got like 20 or 30 different names that it operates under. It's just one little small restaurant, but somehow they're able to create all these names to get all this additional business from Uber. So it's all good. Hey, I'm not against it. They're really nice people. It's just sometimes I don't know where I'm going. Then I look and I see, oh, I get it. It's going right here. I'll show you. Fothan. <laughs> It's just for $11.10, going 4.7 miles. Guys, we're gonna go and rock this out. Let's go inside. Hello. <laughs> I have Caitlin. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's it. I got, that's it. Yeah. Vegan chicken. I checked it, I, I double checked it. I got it. <laughs> okay, guys, they had that ready. Hey, hon. I noticed this says uh, Coca-Cola, but it, not Pepsi. This is Pepsi. Yeah, uh, my mom, no, no Coke. No Coke? Uh, okay, yeah. no worries. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. See you. Ya. You're very welcome. Okay, guys, just double checking there because the customer wanted Coke, but they're going to get a Pepsi. That would uh, be a no-go for me, but hope the customer's okay with that, guys. Let's go. Okay, guys, we've arrived to our customer. Uh, I think it's in this building here, so it is a business delivery. Oh, this is nice. I have delivered here before because I remember it's got this pretty stream thing that runs through the middle of this complex. Isn't that cool? I love that. Okay, let's go see if we can find sweet number. I believe I see it right down there. But look at this. I just like to come to work here every day. That's kind of nice. You getting a drink? 
Oh yeah, I see you there. Okay, guys, here we go, 142. Hello, Caitlin. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Caitlin. You know, um, when I got out to the car, I noticed they gave you a Pepsi. Oh. And I so so what I am I, gonna do? I went just, back inside and I said, "Come on, where, where's the Coke? Because I'm a oh, Coke yeah. guy myself. Yeah. I know how important that can be. Right. She said we were at, we're out of Coke, so gonna, I gave it a try. I'm give them my, a piece of my mind. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank it's, you so much. it's pretty serious for me when I get a, a Pepsi instead I of a know. Coke, but I'm like. It's not the same. It's just not the it's same, not. but I tried for you. Thank you so You have much. a beautiful rest of the day, ladies. Thank okay, you. take care. This guy's got like a veranda outside of his business. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. I don't know if there's fishies in there or not, but who knows? Okay, guys, that was enjoyable delivery. <laughs> kind of zen. Okay, guys, we're on our way to Del Taco for a $7 offer going just 1.4 miles, guys. Okay, guys, we've arrived to Del Taco. Taco Tuesday and Thursday. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Thanks for asking. I'm okay. Uh -huh. Are you here for a pickup? Uber Eats Christina. Christina, okay. We're working thank you very okay. much. There you go. Well, thank you so much, thank dear. You. You, have you have a beautiful rest of the day. Thank you. Likewise. Look at that. No big whoop. No big weight. So we're on our way. Right to our beautiful customer. Let's go and drop this at the door. I think this little mushroom's a better place as any to set this. Okay, guys, I accepted a $5.94 run here at McDonald's. It's going 0.0. .0 four miles so less than a half a mile away guys we're gonna knock this out we're gonna rock it out you're coming along let's go great job thank you so much have a good day you too dear point four miles okay let's go Four miles. Okay, guys, I delivered that successfully, and it was, in fact, one of my repeat customers. You know, I, it doesn't matter what the tip is. A lot of the times I complain about that, or I'm concerned about that, or at least I sound like I am. But, uh, you know, when I got these return customers, I'm like, I'm servicing the people in my neighborhood. I'm, I'm happy. I'm fine to do that. So it's not always about the tip. It's, it's about the people. Everybody's happy. Everybody wins. Let's go. We're on an $11.41 run right now to Munchy Food or Munchy Land, something like that, Korean food. I'll take another look at it, <laughs> but it's Munchy is all, all you got to know, Munchy. And uh, it's going just 6.2 miles. Then we did accept an add-on for over almost 10 bucks, going an extra 1.8 miles to another restaurant. We're going to address that after we get this Munchy Land order in the vehicle. I'll give you the details on that one. Let's go. Let's rock this out. Okay, guys, we're here. I see now it's Munchy Road. The Munchy Road. Check it out. Munchy Road. Yeah, I don't know if you saw all that, but trust me, it's Munchy Road. Seriously, don't worry. Be happy. Munchy Road. <laughs> Hi, Uber Eats for Natasha. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, dear. You have a very nice day. Take care. Bye bye. All right, got that? Pretty much ready. Thank you, Munchie Road. Okay, guys, well, as promised, that add on I think was $9.85, going just 1.8 miles extra to La Islitas Marcosis. Or... <laughs> I'm so bad at pronouncing some of these names. La Eslitas, you see that? Okay, La Eslitas. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Authentica comida mexicana. Hello, ma'am. I have an Uber Eats for Maria. Uh, five minutes, okay? Five minutes, okay. Oh, that's a jukebox? I can officially say the jukebox has lost all of its style. Very well, thank you, dear. Okay, well, we got that. 
Okay, I may have to cut the music out of there. YouTube's being really strict about background music for some reason. I mean, how do you avoid it in some places? Let's go. Okay, guys, we've arrived to our Munchie Road customer. We're going to go leave this at the door. Let's go. Okay, guys, well, our uh, Mexican food, I'll just say, customer, rather than try to pronounce that name, they're only 0.6 miles away, so yeah. Oh, put on my seatbelt. I'll do it when I feel like it. Like right now. We're at the second customer. So close. Let's go drop this at the door. Okay, guys, we're on an over $10 offer right now going to Hugh Tai Fo, I think it was. Just a total of 2.1 miles on this one, guys. You're coming along. Let's rock this out. Let's roll. Well, this is semi-hilarious. I'm just realizing this Hugh Thai Fo, whatever the hell it is, it's going to Fo Thang. You already know from earlier in this video that this is the restaurant that we go to quite frequently, only it's like a ton of different names. And this is another one. Now, my favorite is Mr. Sandwich Breakfast, but this is like a new one. Oh, foe, Than, you running game. <laughs> nice people, though. Oh, yeah, I got a little roadblock here. I say we should take the high road. Lots of goodies. Hello, ma'am. Hi. Nice to see you. Is that May song? Yes. Perfect. Oh, it's all ready? Oh, good. Oh, more jackfruit. <laughs> Apparently they're delicious. Yeah. Yeah, they're very good. Thank you, dear. You have a wonderful day. Maybe I'll see you later. You can call me. Yeah, of course. Yes. Of course. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. You're fine. You're fine. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, we got that. Looking good. I don't know exactly how it works, but I guess some restaurants are allowed or they just find out a way to have all these different names and even styles of food. Because this Fo Than place, like they, they obviously, they specialize in Asian type foods, but they have like Thai food, they have Korean food, they have Filipino food, I think, they have Chinese food, they just have all the, the Japanese. It's all these different food. And it's all made by one Hispanic cook. <laughs> so, and the guy's just amazing because he can make all these different types of meals. It's, 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 it's pretty stunning. This guy's like, I might as well be a master chef if you think about it. And a true master chef because he's a jack of all foods. So, yeah, I don't know how it works or if they're allowed to do that, how they get around it. But this restaurant definitely is going to the limit as far as being able to, you know, operate under all these different names. And, you know, each one of these names appears on the Uber app as a different restaurant. But I don't think a lot of the customers realize that it's all coming out of this one little hole in the wall, figuratively speaking, in a mini mall. But whatever it takes, they're really nice people, really nice ladies in there. So we're all for it, guys. We're all for it. You know, it, it's capitalism at its finest, and uh, we're all about that. Okay, guys, we're getting close to our customer. Let's rock this out. Okay, guys, we've arrived to the customer's crib. We're going to do a little double parking here and get this thing knocked out. Let's go. I think A would be downstairs, right? <laughs> hey. Hi, you. Uh... Is this A? Hello? Is this uh, A? Next door? Thank you, ma'am. Hey. Hey, don't, don't run away. Don't run away. You're cute. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? That's a cute kitty. Okay. All right, nice guy. It was a pin thing, you know. I told him to make sure the kitty gets a couple of noodles. <laughs> Gas is going through the roof again. Goodness me, I don't know what's going on here, but yeah, it's going big again. For some reason, the gas prices are going through the roof. I'm sure there's some master plan.
Okay, guys, I'm literally going to probably get two gallons of gas here. I've got a little bit of cash from this tip a customer gave me the other day. Ten bucks. So it's like I'm going to put it right in the tank. It, luckily, in this Prius, it'll go for a little while. But still, this gas is incredible. The prices are just nuts. Anyway, we did accept an offer just now. Just a little over ten bucks for a total of three miles to Archie's Tie. So we've got to grab this gas real fast and then get out of here go to Archie's Tie. You guys are going to experience the whole thing with me, which is the way I like it, guys. So let's go. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, I mean, this station is $3.85, which is about 20 cents or 30 cents less in most places, but still. What's up? That's my money flying away. <laughs> hey, dude, can I get a 10 bucks on number seven? Right, thank, you. thank you, my bro. Blessings. All right, guys. <laughs> that 10 bucks flew out of my pocket so fast and into the ethos. Probably into the guy who owns that truck. That's right. Yeah, that's it. Okay, guys, let's gas up. 2.4 gallons. That's that's what I got for 10 bucks. 2.4 gallons. Luckily, in this Prius, it took me from the gauge saying I had 33 miles left to go to 140, which is nice. But still, 2.4 gallons. That's crazy. Okay, guys, on our way to Archie's. If you've watched any of my prior videos, and I, and I highly suggest that you do. <laughs> it really helps me out a lot when you guys watch my videos. But anyway, you can go to my channel and find them. But this is a place where I don't bother going inside anymore. I just go to this drive-through hole that they have in the side of the building. Is There's no call box or talk box or whatever. You just go to this window. Then I guess they see you via security cam, maybe. That's the hole. That's it. <laughs> oh, hey, I have a Uber Eats for Lisa. Yes. There she goes. Okay. Well, she wanted to see my phone. I, I get it. She wants to see that I'm, you know, really an Uber driver. <laughs> I guess they have a problem with fraud, guys. You know it well. Again, if you've watched my videos, you know we run into it all the time. We get to a restaurant. They tell us the order's already been picked up. Meanwhile, there's some guy in an alley or at home enjoying the food who's not supposed to have it. The customer gets nada, and the restaurant's out the order. Of course, it affects me, too, because then I have to call Uber. They cancel the order. They normally give me a few bucks for the trouble. <laughs> but this time, it looks like we're on track. Oh, goody! Thank you for having that ready, dear. You have a nice day. Okay, well, there it is. We, we hit that one out of the park. Let's go. We have arrived to our customer. Let's go and drop this at the door. Here or here or there, right here. Put me on that. I really appreciate it. Back at me. 